following a few nights at Bangor, I went and got some LPG before heading off again. This car park was at Hollywood um, and it was a little bit lively at night with cars coming and going and doors opening and shutting. I leave you to decide what that was. I then popped over to Stormont House. This was a really good day out and completely free. You can go into the house on the lower floor and learn about the troubles and see the speaker's room. The ceiling in the main hall is amazing and unbelievably has never been repainted. This is called Reconciliation with identical statues in Hiroshima, Berlin and Coventry. For the night, I headed to Scrabo Towers and got a decent night's sleep after the night before. The views from the tower are amazing. Also take time to walk down to the North Quarry. It is like going through the doors of Narnia and even more atmospheric as behind that all the trees are mossy and overgrown and a bit spooky. From here I headed over to Island Hill and Rough Island which you can walk out to over a little causeway when the tide is out. Uh, the island itself is pretty tiny, maybe about five acres. Next stop was another pair of islands um, approached by two causeways but they didn't look like they flooded at low tide. I spent the night at the car park to the Needrum Monastery and walked round the grounds. Uh, the views were spectacular and the monastery was really very interesting. My final island of the week was Skellerig Island and I popped into Tully and the Kill Church on my way. I parked right next to the castle as it was about the flattest bit I could find. There is a nice little walk around the island and a very interesting lightship called the Petrel. I then booked myself onto the Caram site at Delamont, intending to do my laundry, but annoyingly their machines were out of order. After a nice walk around the park and seeing the megalith, Sky and I enjoyed an ice cream each.